Okay, so we're to begin with this guy. Man, he's awesome. Okay, so let's begin with the head, man. So the head is like in a bolt joint, but it's it's like this thing that he has here, but it's screwed like this, right? So it's assembled like this. So you have to just take it. Out. You have to do it like this, man. So it's pretty weird. There, the bolt joint. So it goes goes side to side a little bit. It's a little bit stuck there because well, it's new down and up a little bit so it has articulation here on the hand you can rotate it 360 degrees in and out really big bolt joint there really don't bother me a friend of mine on YouTube uh, do a review well that's why I bought this guy I saw his review and I said damn it's, it's a very cool figure to get so I saw it and just right away asked for it on eBay 20 bucks guys so it's like a little bit more than these guys but these guys some of them just really suck alright so on the elbow has a ball joint in and out just to here pretty cool he has rotation on the wrist and there's where you can take out the hand like that and just put something else in the karate chop I mean because you know if somebody gets hit with this karate chop they die right away so you have the fist the fist hand that's with the ones that it came with and we have the karate chop that's the only karate chop no no less karate chop hand man so that's that's cool just for another person yeah karate chop is there man okay let's go to the back so he has these little wings you can spread them out like this or just like this however you like so, and you can put these things here. So it has four pegs there. I think that's why they didn't put paint on it. To have these things. Alright, so it's cool. Check it out. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go to the torso. Oh yeah, he has waist joint there, so he has he can rotate a little bit. Well, I think he just mess around with the feet and he can rotate at 360. Yep, he can rotate at 360 degrees on the waist, and he has on the chest. He goes back and down, so it's cool. So he can do salute like this also. Pretty awesome. And he has in and out leg rotation. A lot of rotation. Check it out. He has uh, on the thigh rotation. Uh, 360 degrees most probably. And yes, 360 degrees on the thigh. And the knee, he has the ratchet joint. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. Do you hear that? That's real tech doing there, man. And no rotation here on the on this part of the leg. He goes out and in, and no pivot whatsoever. He has rotation, but well, this piece here doesn't let it move it's in a ball joint as you can see here there is the ball joint and no way to move it so man overall this guy is awesome I'm not gonna 
say any more about him. The paint on him. I mean, check it out. He has the BF there, BF there, little paint there, little paint there. The number of the airplane. Man, I'm gonna get the one that transformed into airplane. I was so dumb. I was damn. I should have waited, but I got excited and I just asked for it. And I asked for it for my friend, uh, who I thank you, uh, who I thank a lot, uh, Guillermo Parson Nolgan, so my best friend, man. So he's the only one who can ask things on eBay for me. So this is pretty awesome, man. Here's the head sculpture, the little antenna there. I don't know if the antennas move. Looks like they move. Not gonna mess with them because I don't want to screw it up. Because they look like in a different, a separate piece, but that, that's cool. There on the back, he has this paint application there. The front of it. The cockpit. This is the one that Rick Hunter used, man. That's why I asked for it. The other one that he's the 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 the, the his friend with the yellow hair has like the cockpit, but he has it like in he has a, sk a skull there, so it's a little bit different. So oral is awesome, man. Here on the side, he has this painting application on the back. Love it. He has the symbol of the Robotech symbol here and here I'm sorry here only and the wind cuff application on the back he has this like like light something or something. so overall man it's an awesome figure gonna check out and put all the armor so you can see how he is so right now check out he's, he's a little bit he's almost the size of this guy a little bit taller you close the, the legs and just stand it straight but it looks awesome man awesome oh and this Captain America maybe later I do a review of him it was in a double pack with Wolverine the Wolverine sucks man sucks so much it has a lot of pain crap on it but this one it was the, the cool of the, of the double pack so nice figure man I'm gonna put all the accessories on him so just hold on okay guys give me a minute oh yeah and he has specs here and the legs also so maybe that's why that thing well just give me a minute alright hold on so we're back and here is with all of his armor man and his weapon showing off so there you go these are the like the missile pots he has four of them check it out I think those one look cool but when if it's an airplane right but it's okay it's cool it's part of the armor so it's cool so he has this big ass things here on the back and on the side they have the robotic symbol they thought like shot how do you say that exhaustion the the turbo things here, man. I'm sorry. I got the word on the mouth, but it didn't come out. Alright, so. It's pretty cool, man. And the stand, well, it looks awesome. I'm just put it like that, and I know I can pose them better. And it will look awesome. I'm just trying to show you guys all the parts of the armor here. So here it has the leg part. Which looks awesome. And I think I put it the wrong side hold on so that's why it was not fitting it properly oh yeah and the the thing on the on the back just come off right away give me a minute I don't know if they go in or out man just gonna put it out right so give me bear with me this thing is no I didn't know 
Yeah, but common sense, right? Damn. There you go. Well, what was, what was I talking about is that the base, this thing, and he has the pick here, but I think it's a little bit loose. So when you pick it, I think it will, because you kind of damage the figure, but it is there, man, and you can put it there, and it's no problem. I mean, it's just awesome figure, man. So there you go, the leg parts more turbo to it here are these uh, things here the, they have a little holes here I didn't know why they have holes but I think now I know so just give me a minute right the thing is that this weapon and it stays there very nicely man I mean check out check it out I'm gonna put it down so it doesn't all this all the pieces fit perfectly man so this this figure is just top notch man of quality. It's awesome. It worth every penny that I pay for it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to buy some freaking toy that cost me like a hundred dollars and doesn't stay properly on on his freaking parts. Uh huh. So there you go. That's why is the other part. I didn't even tell you right. I just form it. Alright, I'm gonna do it again guys, so just check it out, alright? So he has his main weapon here. That this weapon goes, when it's in airplane mode, it goes down. But I, it's not gonna use it here because, well, it cannot transform. So this, you remove this piece. Remove the piece from the back. And this piece goes here. And this piece goes here like this and you put it here that's why are the holes but he has only one weapon so I don't know why they put two freaking holes there so you can put it here or more back as you like so he has his side arm right But I think it looks better here, man. But it's gonna be look better in this arm because this thing face face the other way. That little wing that he has there. So there we go, man. Check it out. Right. So he has a side arm. Pretty cool figure, man. Love it. Love it. Recommend it. If you love uh, Robotech, Micro Saga, or you love action figures that rule, like this one, buy it. Buy it now, man. You're not going to be disappointed. He can kick the ass of uh, these guys because he's top notch, man. Top notch quality. Awesome figure. Recommend Robotech figures also. I saw an Iron Man and I saw a Predator figure from this size. So they're pretty much awesome. Alright guys, I think this is gonna be it. I think I uh, um, didn't forget, oh yeah, I forget something. Tiny, he can rotate his feet. Just give me a minute. Let me take that right here. He can, I'm sorry, he can rotate his hip. 360 degrees. 360 degrees, no problem with that. Right, so move sideways, up and down, and pretty cool action figure. Love it, love it. And he has his stand. You can take out this piece here. And he can stay here with his stand, right? If you want to pose like not flying. This piece, I don't know what the hell it is. I'm gonna try it right now and see what what can I find on it, right? Hold on, guys. And if I not find anything, well, I will see you on the video. Beers or us out. Later.